Joker Wild or Jack Wild? Jack. Oh. A spirited card game with plenty of laughs, courageous wagering, even a little trash talking. It's good natured fun at this assisted living center in McMinnville. But note one young player among the elderly card sharks. So I spend a lot of time um, in the nursing home just talking with them, going to their different parties. Emily Pennington is a freshman at UT Martin, majoring in nursing and a longtime 4 H'er. Back in her hometown of McMinnville, she spends time with older people, part of a 4 H service project she created called Embracing the Elderly. Emily first got the idea as a little girl visiting her great grandmother in a nursing home. Even at that young age, she noticed that many people there had no visitors or family. So over 65% of nursing home patients are considered elder orphans, meaning they don't have they, they don't have support coming from outside the nursing home, such as emotional support, so just a love, a hug coming from someone they know. Emily started embracing the elderly during the Christmas season. This is also a collection effort, gathering practical gifts. Now more than 2,000 items donated to people in Warren County. So I spend a lot of time going to different schools, going to local businesses, and collecting things such as body wash, crossword puzzles, blankets. And that really started at the Christmas season um, mm -hmm. in 2016. So I realized, hey, they're not getting Christmas presents. And that broke my heart. Your emotions can impact you physically. Loneliness can be as damaging to your health as smoking a pack of cigarettes a day. And for the elderly, social isolation can mean a greater risk for heart disease and stroke. Are you drawing in a red nose like your hat right off? Yeah. Yeah. 4-H <laughs> agents praise Emily for this effort and believe her presence, her company, is life-changing for people here. And so to be able to shine that light and kind of bring some joy to um, a patient's life at all, whether it be just spending time with them to visit, um, giving them a gift, um, making them a greeting card or anything like that, um, definitely I think has impact um, and it's really important. Emily is away at UT Martin now, but when she's home, embracing the elderly will go on. Future visits, more games, and sweet one-on-one -on -one conversations. This time of year, it's an investment of holiday spirit and seasonal kindness that carries throughout the year and crosses several generations. This is Charles Denny reporting.